Hey everybody, how you doing? I love you. Jesus loves you. You're awesome. You're wonderful and amazing. And I just wanted to share with you today that today was my first day of. Uh, so I've been praying for the Lord uh, in my town to 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 send people from my town so that I could uh, sow into them and and um, and teach them what I've learned this year. Um, uh, uh, identity in Christ Jesus that God lives in you and everything from God is in you um, so we have to believe the Bible says that that when Jesus died for us that God's in us once we believe um, so as a spirit-filled Christian who believes that God is in him I act like God's in me and I go do the will of God so if God's in me I'm a son of God right so I don't act like God I act like a son of God to do his will for God okay God in me so anyways, today was a good day, good teaching, saw lots of things, the Lord was just flowing through me. And it's awesome because when you teach truth, when you teach identity, God will stir you up still. I mean, you. I mean, the more I was speaking, the more I was wanting to come out, the more I, I mean, it, I mean, I couldn't do, uh, do enough. And we've been doing it since 10 o'clock, so it's 1, 10, 11, 12, so three hours of just of the speaking life and truth and giving him giving uh, a brother in Christ the tools to uh, to do what he needs to do now um, excuse me, I'm sorry for eating but also signs and wonders teaching him how to pray teaching how to see uh, see the power of God how to uh, how to how to let it flow through you um, so anyways I'm, I'm making this video to tell you today was good and if there's anybody else sitting in Patterson that would like to know truth, that would like to see miracles, that would like to be set free, because when God died for us, He set us free. You know, when Jesus died for us, He set us free, free from not only the world but free from ourselves. Okay, because the carnal mind is an enmity with God, so the spirit mind um, is what we should act like. We have the mind of God. Okay, and I can show you in Scripture. Um, on that but anyways I don't want to share it today it was an awesome day I was making a quick video um, uh, God was definitely present because God is in me so everywhere I go God goes all right and uh, and, and I, I want to teach that God is in everybody who believes and and once we believe and start doing his will and acting uh, like like we have God in us and then he'll start to use us more and start to speak to us more and uh, I just want to give a testimony real quick. Uh, the, the teaching was good today, but also too, as I was saying goodbye to my brother in Christ, um, it was uh, um, a drug rehab place, Christian rehab place, walking by from San Jose, and the, the mentor was walking past on a phone, and then his his student, his, his um, uh, or or a guy who's just set free from four months of drug addiction, walked by, and I said, "Hey, I'm I'm a minister of God too." Um, I don't have no money right now, but can I pray for you? And um, he, he was scared. He was like, "Well, there's my mentor right there," and I was like, "Well, he's way over there. Can I pray for you?" He said, "You're you're being set free from addiction." And I already know that we can't overcome anything without God. You think you can overcome stuff, but God is the only one that can help you overcome anything of this world. Okay, you almost cover the world. Addiction is from the world. You overcome the world when you. Put your life into Christ and start acting like God's in you and, and do the will of God. So I, I, I just prayed over him, put my hand on his stomach, uh, speaking fire of God upon him. And then uh, the Lord said, ask him now. Because when I feel it, when the Lord says, ask him if you feel anything, 99% of the time they do. So I said, you feel that? He goes, yeah, a little bit. I'm like, well, that's God telling you he loves you. So I'm commanding these addiction spirits to loosen from him. <coughs> and, um, to be set free from addiction and then I told him say say thank you God and so he says thank you God and give me more so I can feel that more he goes yeah a little bit more and so anyways that was all done in front of the brother that I was I'm, I'm training and teaching Christ and identity you know what I mean and it's God God does it all I can't teach nobody nothing unless God's with me and I believe God's with me to teach to to learn uh, and and to share him with everybody Okay, so anyways, um, I'm going to keep this short. Uh, anyway, so that guy felt the presence of God, and he was kind of terrified. So I go, I go, you know what? I got some chains. So right now, I got some chains. got my card. Call me up. Next time you guys are in town, come over. We'll share lunch, and we'll, um, we'll speak the good news. And I, and, and I go, here's some change. And this guy was shaking, trembling. And I told my brother, I said, did you see what happened to him? He's like, yeah. And I, and I go, he was frightened because he never in his life, as a Christian, as, as a man who's going to this, 
No one has ever showed him Jesus, but we just did right now. So that's what we're supposed to do, share Jesus, make disciples, disciples making disciples, all right? If, uh, if someone's ministering to you and you don't see that they're bearing fruit, real fruit, fruit that reproduces and reproduces and reproduces, then I would say stop letting them minister there and you find out who you are in Christ and then show them. All right? I love you. Jesus loves you. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Bye-bye.